Hello everyone, salutations. So now we are going to perform SOP 2 from skill set 4. Okay, so SOP 1 is already uploaded. You will come to know. And in SOP 1, we created the company. Now we are going to continue with that company and create some ledgers. Okay, so let's start the software GNU Khata. And it's going to open in web browser setting. The link to download this software I will provide in the description. Okay. Otherwise, it's very easy. You can just go to your web browser and just type download GNU Khata and you will get the official website that is gnukhata.in. From there, you can easily download. Just provide your email ID and it's easy to download the setup file. And then double click on your setup file and install it. The setup file is more than 200 MB. Yes, so the software GNU Khata, as you can see. So, first of all, it asked to sign in, and because I saved the password, so password is also you can see available. I have to just click on login button. So, previously created company that is BB Enterprises, it's available over here. All right, and this is the hamburger menu, or I think so. I read it correctly. It's called hamburger. I read it somewhere in the textbook. Yes, it's hamburger menu mentioned in page number 90. Yes, so now we are going to create ledgers. Okay, so to create ledgers, use that hamburger menu. And go to master tab, use this account option. Okay, so now we are going to create ledgers. Okay, ledger accounts. So, ledger name you are, you are going to provide over here. Okay, in this. And first of all, you need to understand which ledger. Now, here the first ledger given in the textbook page number 95 is import duty. Okay, now import duty comes under direct expenses group now how do i know it comes under direct expenses group you have to study this page number 91 92 and 93 okay study this thoroughly and then you will understand these ledger accounts should be entered in pre-existing group of the accounting package okay there are some pre-existing groups as i discussed in the last video these are the pre-existing groups each and every ledger account will be included inside one of the group. Okay. So, import duty comes under direct expenses. So, first of all, you have to make sure the ledger account comes under which group. Okay. And then select the group. It comes under direct expenses. So, I am going to select this group direct expense. Okay. No need to enter subgroup name. Okay, and now I'm going to type because see, I, I was practicing. That's why suggestions are coming up. Okay, but I'm going to type anyway for you. Import duty. It's very easy. First of all, you provide the name of the group and under direct expenses. Under direct expenses, import duty. Okay, this is the ledger account. The Name of the account is ledger, uh, import duty and then you have to click on save. So it shows account created successfully. That means first ledger account is created. Our second ledger account as per the question is insurance. Okay. And insurance comes under indirect expenses. Okay. So I think so that's that is included in indirect expenses. So let me see indirect expenses page that is in page number 93. So in page number 93, you will see insurance is mentioned as third ledger account in indirect expense. Okay. So first of all, choose the name of the group as indirect expense and type the account name insurance. And then save it. Done. Very easy. So, rest of the ledger accounts I am going to now create. 
थर्ड इज मशीनरी मशीनरी इज अ वराइटी ऑफ फिक्स असेट ओके सो चूज फिक्स असेट एंड देन प्रोवाइड नाउ सी देर इज ऑल्सो अ क्राइटेरिया टू एंटर ओपनिंग बैलेंस बट इन अवर क्वेश्चन ओपनिंग बैलेंस इज नॉट गिवन सो वी विल कीप इट एम टी ओके सो अंडर द ग्रुप फिक्स असेट आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट माई अकाउंट मशीनरी and then save it okay commerce students will be very familiar with this they will understand very easily but it's not that difficult that other uh, science and art student uh, art stream students cannot understand okay it is about accounting okay little bit after reading this three pages uh, i told you page number 91 to 93 you can understand okay and if you want some more explanation lot more explanation is given starting from page number 86 you can go through all right so after machinery we have audit fee and audit fee comes under indirect expense so i need to choose the group indirect expense and provide the account name as audit fee and then click on save okay account created successfully next is purchase okay purchase comes under direct expense so direct expense first of all choose the group direct expense and provide the name purchase ledger account name is purchase and then click on save so account created successfully next is sales sales come under direct income okay direct income that is um direct income first of all choose the group and provide the name of the ledger account as s a l e s sales and then save it okay it's very easy then next is telephone charges telephone charges is related to office everything related to office comes under indirect expense okay whether it is tea or coffee charges uh printing charges advertisement charges okay traveling charges so all this anything related to office comes under indirect expense and accounts related to factory comes under direct expense this is a fact you have to follow as it is okay so uh telephone charges can be considered under office okay and office expenses are included in indirect expense logically okay and it's also given in the page number 90 uh, 93 telephone expense telephone charge okay ledger account they have given telephone charge so telephone charges indirect expense first of all and then telephone charge charges okay telephone charges and then save it next is interest received okay so interest means if you have a bank definitely the company is going to have a bank account okay and there will be certain amount of money inside the bank account and yearly you get some interest so that is an indirect income receiving bank interest commission all this then discount all these are coming under indirect income okay not direct income sales is direct income that means you are selling some product and uh, that income is direct but investing some money and getting some money through that that is indirect income okay so interest received indirect income okay and the name of the account is interest received on save next salary now salary is salary is basically considered under office expenses factory under factory they call it wages but for sal salary they considered salary is basically considered as an office expense an office expense means indirect expense so group indirect expense and account name salary ledger account name is salary 
save it. Okay, and the last one that is professional fees. That is direct income professional fees. Okay, in the column of that page number ninety two, direct income. Direct income, yes. Direct income. It's given in page number ninety two. The first one group name direct income, and there you can see ledger account mentioned as professional fees. Okay, so put professional fees under direct income. Did I save this? Okay, okay. It's already saved. Now direct income account name is professional fees. Yes, null spelling is wrong. I O N A L professional fees. Save it. Okay, so all the ledgers are created successfully. Okay, here you have option called edit account. Okay, so all these accounts which you created are available over here. Okay, if you want to edit any account, change the group. If you feel that for this particular uh, uh, thing I didn't enter the group correctly, for example, we created machinery. Okay, so machinery fixed assets. If you want to change it, I think so. You can change it from here. Reset. Okay, reset, delete, edit. Okay, you have to click on the edit button. So now I think so you are able to edit. By chance, if there is a mistake, you entered. A wrong group okay and if you want to make any correction you can use this edit account option and this is list of all the accounts available in the company okay which are predefined and which we separately define this 10 ledgers everything is available in this list okay so this is sop2 this much only okay so this skill set is complete only two SOPs, very simple SOPs. Okay. So next I'm going to cover the videos for JavaScript skill set. So see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you very much for the subscription. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe the channel. Give your suggestions and the video will be uploaded for you. And please share the video with your friends and colleagues if you feel this explanation was helpful enough so take care see you in the next video take care everybody